Hello everyone, in Deeper Productions here with another video. Today I'm going to be looking at my LEGO Star Wars minifigures mid-2021 army. So without wasting any time, let's start off with our Jedi minifigures. So on this side we just have a bunch of generic Jedi minifigures just from the Jedi Council and then we also have some minifigures that have duplicates like Ahsoka, Beresaw Fee, and all kinds like that. Then we do have our Yodas as well as Qui-Gon Jinns which all look very cool. We also have our Obi-Wans up in the front right here, all going by date they were made and by what episode they came out in. So you can see we have episode 2 back there and then Clone Wars and then some more episode 3 minifigures as well as A New Hope. And then we also have little Anakins from episode 1 which are really cool as well as this original episode 2 Anakin. And if we move back here you can just see some more Anakins going down the line. And then those kind of transition into Darth Vader and into our Sith minifigures. So recently I've been getting a lot of Darth Vader minifigures, which is cool, including that one with arm printing right there. So that's really neat. And then all the Darth Mauls that were ever made mostly. And you can see Savage Opress right there, which is a really cool minifigure, as well as some of the Dooku minifigures and that more rare Darth Malgus minifigure, which is another really cool one. Then we also have Chancellor Palpatine from the Clone Wars. Now, moving on to kind of this back area right here, we have a few Emperor Palpatines, which look all really cool, and then some Inquisitors, as well as MOC. And we also have uh, three General Grievouses, all from different years, so those look really great, as well as some uh, Nemodians, so new Gunray and all kinds like that, as well as some Geonosians with that cool Poggle the Lesser minifigure. And we also have all of our Naboo minifigures right here, including all the Gungans right there, and like all the little guards and everything, as well as all of our Padme Amidala minifigures with that rare Queen Amidala minifigure right there. Now moving on, we have a lot of battle droids in the front, so we have all of these older battle droids with the larger blasters, as well as some of these security battle droids and just various types. You can also see some Genosins right there. We also have some very cool commander battle droids, as well as around 40 normal battle droids, which is really cool, and it's nice to see them all grouped up like that. Next up, we do have 15 of these super battle droids, which look really cool. I was recently able to pick up a little bit more, so that's really nice, as well as some of these Senate commando troopers. Now, if we go on to the front right here, we have the 501st Army. It consists of 21 501st troopers, as well as 7 jetpack troopers, and then you can see Phase 1 Cody and Phase 2 Rex, which are both amazing minifigures. We also have some nice Utapal Troopers or 212 Troopers, Geonosin, as well as um, Kashyyyk Troopers, and then a bunch of Phase 1 Troopers, and some more Phase 2 in the middle. Then we also have that Jack 14 minifigure right there, which is pretty cool, as well as just various pilots in the middle. And then we kind of move on to the Old Republic. Now, the Old Republic minifigures are really cool. I do have to say that, like all these cool Sith troopers with like the Darth Vader like helmets. We also have some assassin droids, which are pretty common figures to make even, but they're still nice to have. As well as some cool bounty hunters like Zam Wessel, which is a really cool one. We also have Embo, and he's really cool as well. All of these are mostly from the Clone Wars, but we do have some original trilogy ones like Zuckus and Forlom back there, as well as some Bosks. Then we have all of our Mandalorian slash Boba Fett's and Jango Fett's. See them right there. We got some Death Watch, some Malalorians, a Imperial Super Commando, as well as a bunch more Boba Fett's. And then we also have the Mandalorian right here with Cara Dune and some Clutonian Raiders, which all look really cool. Now moving on to more of our TV show series characters, we have all of the Rebels, except for Zeb. So you can see Kanan right there. Then we have Cassian Andor and all of the other Rogue One squadron, which all look very cool. Then we have some Wookiees right here with some Chewbacca's, which all look really cool together. And then we all have the Solo minifigures right here, which all look, again, really cool. And then those kind of transition nicely into Han Solo himself. You can just see there's a lot of Episode Four ones and then fewer episode five and six ones with that one being the only one i have which is that uh, cool indoor han solo then we have one of the original leia minifigures as well as some of the newer ones right here including that cool 
Cloud City one. Moving to the back, we have um, some of her Episode 6 outfits, as well as her Episode 7 outfit, which is really cool. Then we do have some awesome Luke Skywalker minifigures. You can see a lot of Farm Boy Lukes. Back to Tank Luke Skywalker. As well as a lot of Episode 6 Luke Skywalkers. Going down the row right here. Some Pilot Lukes. And then Old Man Luke. All the way in the back over there with Lando. And then you can kind of see more of these Cloud City minifigures up in the front. Then moving on, we do have some Rebel Pilots, which all look very cool. And we also have some more just generic rebels like Emerald Akbar and just all these Hoth Troopers and Tanta IV Commanders. We also just have various other rebel troopers. And then that kind of leads into the TIE Pilots in the Empire. Very nice. See that we have the Inferno Squad back there, as well as some Death Star Gunners, Shadow Troopers. And then all of our higher ranking Imperial officers, as well as some Death Troopers, which all look very cool. I think, yeah, there's Krennic right there. Very cool minifigure. Then we have some of the more common Imperial officer figures, as well as some of like the one-off characters right here, which I just have one of. Then if we go all the way back over here, moving back over to this corner, we have some more one-off troopers, like these hover tank pilots, as well as these range troopers, which all look very cool. We also have some more stormtroopers in the front, as well as some snowtroopers and sand troopers flanking them on each side. We also have some nice Imperial Royal Guards, which then kind of lead into the Tatooine minifigures all right here. We have some Jabba minifigures, or Jabba's Palace specific minifigures, as well as some Fifth Musicians and just Cantina Dwellers, as well as some of these cool Tusken Raider minifigures, which all look very cool. Now, we of course have our droids, so we have some medical droids right here the one that performed on Darth Vader and Luke we also have some C-3PO's right here see all back there as well as some of those darker C-3PO's and this nice silver one we also have the old R2-D2 as well as just almost every single R2-D2 ever made you can see them all lined up right there which look very nice and we also have that old Republic one back there as well as some more R2-D2 units right here as well as R4, I can't forget to mention that guy. Then that's mostly the prequels and uh, original trilogies. Now we're moving on to the sequel trilogy. So we have some Resistance pilots and workers, as well as that awesome Finch Dallow minifigure, which is probably the rarest minifigure in my collection. We have some Poe Dameron's right there, which look very cool. As well as some back there, you can see the episode eight and nine ones. Then we have all of our Finn the Stormtrooper ones. It's the episode 9 one right there, as well as some of the older ones. We have Zori Bit Bliss, Jenna, as well as Rose Tico and Holdo, as well as Admiral Akabar, and then some of the helpers of the Resistance like Lor Santeca and Maz Kanata. Then we of course have Rey, the leader of the Resistance primarily, some of her episode 9 outfits in the back. Then we do have Kylo Ren. In the front right here as well as supreme leader kylo ren which definitely is a very cool minifigure as well as we also have snoke back there and then we also have all six knights of ren right there we also have captain phasma and some of these hux minifigures which are definitely very cool as well as some various other officers like commander pride which is definitely a cool minifigure and then also some of these praetorian guards we also have various tie pilots in the back as well as technicians, snow troopers, executioners, flamethrower troopers, and a bunch of these first order storm troopers, as well as Unkar Plutt, a very beautiful minifigure to say the least. And we also have our first order army, which I recently just got a few of these battle packs, so I'm trying to bulk that up, as well as some previous aliens in the front right here, like the Hounds, Dio, BB-8s, Baby Yoda, or Grogu, depending on what you want to say. Mouse Droids, Rod of the Hut, or Stinky. We also have this nice Minoc, some Porgs, some other uh, aliens. And then we also have all of our Christmas characters right here, which look very festive. And then Scalacious Crumb, Large Darth Vader, two Jabba the Huts, all the 
20th anniversary figures right there. The Rancor, the Wampa, all these kind of guys right here, as well as some plaques for the buildable figure sets. So really, that's everything. And the grand total of this army is 926 LEGO Star Wars minifigures, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe that I'm so close to 1,000. So thank you guys for all watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support on the channel lately. I really appreciate it as well. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for more awesome LEGO Star Wars content like this. Let me know what you guys think about this army in the comments down below and what is your favorite figure in it. Thank you guys for watching. Indie Bird Productions is out and may the brick be with you.